Good afternoon. Um, I'm Mark Runacres, um, the Bristol Police Commander, here to provide you with a statement um, in relation to the incident yesterday evening. I'll be able to take some questions after that statement. Just before 6pm yesterday evening, we were called by the ambulance service to a report of someone with a stab wound in the St Phillips area of Bristol. Paramedics provided emergency care at the scene, but sadly they were unable to save the victim, who devastatingly was a 16-year-old boy. His family have been informed and we will provide them with support during this difficult time. The Major Crime Investigation Team are leading the inquiry into what happened and they are working closely with colleagues across the force to identify and arrest those who have carried out this sickening attack. If anyone has any information which could help our investigation, please do contact us directly or anonymously through Crime Stoppers. We fully appreciate the magnitude of this incident and other similar incidents we've sadly seen in recent weeks. Investigations remain ongoing and we're keeping an open mind as to whether last night's tragedy is linked to other recent assaults. We know these incidents are causing concern among our communities, which is why we've launched an operation to tackle serious violence involving young people. This will look to identify those most at risk of carrying knives, but also those most vulnerable to those crimes. From five o'clock today, officers will also be granted enhanced stop and search powers in certain parts of Bristol, meaning they will be able to stop people without needing reasonable suspicion that they may be involved in criminality. This will allow officers to search for weapons and require someone wearing a mask or face covering to remove it. This is not a decision we have taken lightly. We do know people have concerns about the use of these powers and so we have consulted with key partners in the community. There will be extra officers in the area over the coming days and I encourage anyone with concerns to please approach them.